The Snake Is Came to Stay by Julia Donaldson Chapter 4 The Search She can't have gone far, said Polly. She looked all around the room in the sink because she knew snakes like water and under the radiator because they like to keep warm. No, Doris. Polly even looked under the cooker. Just then, Mum came in. What are you doing? she asked. I'm looking for Doris, said Polly in a very small voice. She knew what was coming next and here it came. I said we shouldn't have a snake, shouted Mum. I should never have said yes. M Mum did help Polly look for Doris, but every now and then she said something like, What if she turns up in my bed in the middle of the night, which wasn't very helpful. It was bad enough that Mum was cross, but it was Jack that Polly was really worried about. She knew he was missing Doris. He'd said so on his postcard. How was he going to feel if she was gone forever? Polly and Mum looked all over the house. Mum had calmed down a bit. Well, it's very odd, she said, but I'm sure she'll turn up. Leave the lid off the tank and put some food in it. But the days passed and Doris didn't turn up. Polly felt sick with worry. Jack would be back from holiday next week. What was she going to say to him? Then one day, Polly was watching TV when she thought she heard a faint hissing sound. She turned the TV off and listened. Yes, there was the sound again. It was coming from near the window. Polly went over and pulled back one of the curtains. No, Doris, and then the hissing stopped. Polly looked behind the other curtain. There was nothing there. Then she heard the hiss again. It was coming from Charlie's cage. He was hissing just like Doris. This time, Polly didn't laugh. Mrs. McNair came back from her holiday in Spain. She had a present for Polly. A Spanish doll that looked just like the dancer on the postcard. Has Charlie been a good boy, she asked Polly. Er, uh, yes, said Polly. Eek, eek, said Charlie. I've got a new song for you, Charlie, said Mrs. McNair. As she carried his cage outside, she started to sing You and Your Spanish Eyes in, the, in a funny high voice. Suddenly she stopped singing and let out a scream. What's the matter? asked Polly. A snake! screamed Mrs McNair. There's a snake on the doorstep! But it wasn't a snake. It was a snake skin. What is the problem? Where is it? Tomorrow, chapter five, musical pets. Oh, something.